Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to continue working on some HTML basics here. So I've got a blank page set up. At the, at the top, I've got my doc type definition. I've got an opening HTML tag with language attribute. Then I've got an opening and closing head tags to make the head section. Within that, I have a character encoding meta tag, and I also have a set of title tags. And then beneath the head section, I've got the body section, which is currently empty. So this is a blank web page. And then after that, I've got my closing HTML tag. All right, so back in the head section here, I've got my character encoding meta. Uh, lets me know what conversion of character encoding that I'm using. UTF-8 is super common. And then I've got a set of title tags. And the text in between your opening and closing title tag, this is what people will see if they were to bookmark your web page. And it's also what they're going to see in the uh, in the browser's tab. Let me show you this. So I've already saved this once, but let me go ahead and do it again. I'm going to file save as, and I'm saving this over into a web development folder where all of my web page stuff is going to go. I've got that vacation folder. I don't need that anymore. Let me just delete it. Get rid of that folder. So there we go. So index is a page I made a little bit earlier. Now I'm working on my tags.html. All my web page file names are going to be all lowercase with no spaces, all lowercase with no spaces. Because when you upload these to the server, the server you use is case sensitive. So tags with a lowercase t would be different than tags with an uppercase t. Okay, tags.html, save that. I will replace it. And I'm here, notepad. Notepad++, I'm going to go and click on Run. I'm going to launch this in Chrome. There we go. So here's my blank web page. But notice up here in the, in the title area, my tab, it says HTML tags, the basics, because that's what I happen to have here. So if I change this out, the basics of HTML, I can now save this. Go back to my browser, oops, switch over to my browser, where's my browser? There's my browser, and refresh. You'll notice up here in the tab, the basics of HTML. And if I were to bookmark this site, it would bookmark it as the basics of HTML. So that is where, let me just go ahead and close that. That is where the title text shows up. It also has a little bit of an impact on search engine optimization, but that's a topic for another day. So for now, let's do this though. Make sure that every page you make has a unique title. Okay, and the title should be brief and descriptive to the purpose of that web page. Now there's a few other things we will end up putting in the head section, but I'm going to hold off for now. These are pretty good. These are the basic requirements. Character encoding meta and a title. Other things in the head section will certainly be references to our external style sheets, favicons, um, referring to external JavaScripts, and things like that. Let's move on down to the body of the page. I'm going to go ahead and set up a headline one and HTML basics using tags and attributes. There we go. And then I'll create a little paragraph for myself. And I'm just going to go ahead and type out this paragraph, but I won't record it. There we go, I typed up a couple paragraphs. So HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is a text-based language. You can type HTML with any editor, with any text-based editor. I'm using Notepad++, but you could be using plain old uh, Microsoft uh, Notepad, uh, Text Wrangler if you're a Mac user. Um, so it's text-based language. And HTML is understood by the web browser. The web browser looks at a line like that I have up here, and says, wait a minute, okay, I'm going to take this text, and it's going to display it in big, bold lettering, because it understands that's what it's supposed to do with a headline one tag. And I've got an opening tag, which says, start making a headline here, and then I've got a closing tag, which says, stop making the headline there. So I have a start and a stop. Same thing with my paragraphs. I have a starting paragraph, and a stopping paragraph. Start making a paragraph, stop making a paragraph. Start making a paragraph, stop making a paragraph. And if I control S to save this, I can jump back over to my browser, refresh, and we'll see there's a clear difference between the headline text and the paragraph text. And the only difference we did on our markup was what tags we used. Instead of H1, what if I had P here for paragraph? Well, the browser's no longer going to think this is a headline. It's going to think it's a regular paragraph. 
So if I save, go back to my browser and refresh, it's just one regular paragraph. So I want it to be a headline level one. So I'm going to make it a headline level one. And then after that, I've got two regular paragraphs. Okay, so those are some basic tags right there. Let's see, let's try a couple others. Let's say I'm going to go down after this other paragraph. I'm going to make a headline level two. Okay. common tags with HTML. Now I'm not using a headline too because it's my second headline. It's a little bit misleading, okay? So I don't want you to think of headline one, headline two, and headline three as a sequence. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. Instead, I want you to consider headline two to be a subset of headline one, okay? So headline one is basically it's the title of my web page. Headline two is going to be the um, the title of a section of my web page, which means I might have some random stuff in here. And then later on, I'll do another headline two. And I'm using two different headline two elements because I'm considering these two headlines to be of equal importance within my web page. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and stop here and then we'll continue this up in another video.